Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So, for example, that one example is having distance. So, this is based on the amino acid composition, right? How to calculate the composition? N of i divided by n. So, what n is the total number of residues in a sequence, and this is any residue of particular type, any residue alanine or whatever, 20 residues, right? Now, I get three sequences. So, how many clusters? we can put in these three three sequences and which two, two sequences are close to each other. So, just we can use this formula having distance this is equal to composition 1 of i minus composition 2 of i take the absolute difference i varies from 1 to 20. So, what is the compo uh, different composition for the sequence 1? How many residues? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I put simplicity, I put 10. But usually, what is average length of uh, protein sequences? Right, you can see the large crowd around 200 to 300 or 100 to 300, average length is 315 residues depending upon the sequences deposited in the Unipro database. Right? Also, I showed the graph connecting the number of uh, residues versus the frequency, the mostly from 100 to 300 residues. Right? So, for if you take the for simplicity, I use small peptides. What is the composition for A in the first sequence? 0.3 C0 D.1 E F 0 G 0 H 0 I 0.2 K O K is 0.2 L point to M no N no all are zero. Oh, okay. Point two, point four, point six, point nine one. Then for the second one, point four, point one, E F G H i is 0.1 k 0.2 l 0.1 4 5 6 8 9 was one more x yes 0.1 so third sequence so what is the composition point r9 point 0.1 no c d 0.1 e 0.1 F no G H I point one K point one L point one M N P point one Q point one no R no S W point one right one two three four five six seven eight nine one is missing S point one so, now we calculate the Hamming distance between 1 and 2. What is the value uh, Hamming distance between 1 and 2? Point 0.3. Point 0.3? This is point 0.1, 0, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4. Right, now, dh between uh, 1 and 2 and 3. 0.8 very high. So, between the 1 and 3 1.0. So, we can have the different sequences something is wrong right. So, three different sequences right. So, we can calculate the Hamming distance between any pairs. Now, if you see this one which two sequences are close to each other 
1 and 2 are close to each other. If you see this one, 1 and 2, they are close to close to each other because the value is 0 0.4. So, now we can see the different uh, sequences. Then, if you have any specific threshold, right, for example, if you threshold, threshold of 0 0.5, right, then 1 and 2 are close to each other, right, either 1 or 2. Then, we can take 3, right. You can make it a different clusters, and from each cluster, we can take a representative data, right, and finally, you, you get the non redundant set of sequences. This one is Hamming distance. So, another is similar to Hamming distance, you can also get the Euclidean distance. Okay, the difference between Hamming distance and Euclidean distance is what is the difference? Is sum of squares. Yes, sum of squares. So, you can take a composition of 1, composition of 1 minus composition of 2, the whole square, right. Here we do not care about the sign, then you have to take the root. So, what is the value between uh, d, e of between 1 and 2? We have to get the difference, right? 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, then we have to take the root. Yeah, 0.1 square. That is equal to 0 0.04. 0 0.1 square equal to 0 0.01, right? Yeah, plus 0 0.01, plus 0 0.01, plus 0 0.01. Right, and then I take the root. This equal to 0 0.04, 0 0.2. Right, this d e of 1 comma 2. How about d e of 2 comma 3? Point 0.2 and 3 is 0 0.09. Right, 0 0.01. Here it is 0, here it is 0 0.01. Okay, 1, 2, 3 times. So, that means 0 0.01 into 5. So, that is equal to 0 0.09 and 0 0.05, that is equal to 0 0.14. So, root of 0 0.14, this is equal to 0 0.4, 0 0.3. 0.3 something, right. So, likewise d e of 1 comma 3, what is 1 comma 3? So, 0 0.04, this 0, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times, right, 0 0.01 into 7. So, 0 0.11. So, 0 0.11, this is equal to 0 0.3 something. So, then this is the closest one, here also you can find okay, Euclidean uh, distance, you can see this is the closest uh, among these three sequences. So, you can make any pairs and you can make any different clusters, you can use any cutoff, right, I can do that. This here we used the amino acid composition as a feature, likewise we can use any feature to assign the clusters and you can obtain the non-redundant sequences, fine. So, how to install the CD hit? So, okay, this is freely available and this program is very easy to install, right and it will work with this uh, Linux operating systems, right. So, first you download the files and then unpack using the TR and then you have to go to your directory, right and you can install the program by using make, right and then you can run the program. So, it requires first you need to download the program, you need to unpack and then you have to compile and you have to run the program, right. This is the steps we use in when uh, the compiling in any program, right, in the Unix systems. So, how to run CD hit? Because this is the program, right, you put dot slash CD hit and this is the command we have to give. So, what is for i? That is input, right, we get this input file name, the db gives the input file name and what is o? This output. Okay, this is output file name, okay, db9 this output file name and here we give the c 0 0.9 and n minus 5. What is 0 0.9? This identity, so which identity you, you require, whereas 90 percent or 80 percent or 40 percent. If you need 40 percent, what you have to give? 
0 0.4 right for the example is 40 percent or n equal to 5 what is n equal to 5 word size. So, in this case we look for the pentapeptides right any pentapeptides right how many times each pentapeptide occurs within the sequences right. So, depending upon the your sequence identity and the word size so the CD it will give run and then give you the sequences. For example, any this is a choice they use a default say n equal to 5 for the thresholds 0 0.7 to 1 n equal to 4 they use 6 to 7 and 3 for 5 to 6 right this is normal threshold we use right for running the CD gate. So, now we give the sequences so we have all the sequence faster format and we run CD hit right this is the input file right this is the input and here this is the output. So, with the 85 percent sequence identity and using the word size n so you can use any word size right here n equal to 5. So, then you see you will get the final data now you will get the data then you can use this data right for your any analysis and if you now you have two sets of data one is the redundant sequence one is non redundant sequence if you compare your composition or your any properties you can see the difference between the non redundant ones as well as redundant ones also depends upon how much your data is reduced if you can see much reduction in your data set then you can see much deviation from the properties what you calculate from the whole data set or from the reduced data set if there is not much redundancy right already your data set is non redundant then you cannot see much different then you will get similar result data when you analyze with the whole set of data or with the reduced set of data. So, there is another program right this is also widely used program one of the applications of blast class is you can get the data with any redundancy even if you want to have 20 percent identity or 25 percent identity you can use with this blast class ok. This is the standalone program which is available within blast right and you can use this to cluster either protein sequence or nucleic acid sequence you can use it for both protein as well as the DNA sequences right to get the clusters. So, how it works it first begins with the pairwise match and the places the sequence in a cluster if the sequence matches at least one with the other if two sequence have high identity then if you are interested to threshold of 25 percent which more than 25 percent you put one in the one in the clusters. In the case of the proteins they use blast p for the alignment for the case of nucleic acids which program they use blast 10. So, they take the blast 10 to align the sequences then again this is the command which can use to extract the data right you can first get the program right this is using the standalone program you can get the not under sequences using the sequence. So, here the same i is the input file. So, in file is the input file and out file is output file then we get some numbers minus p t minus l 0.9 minus b t minus s 95. So, what is t stands for protein for proteins they put t for actually they have the l l equal to 0 0.9 right and what is the meaning of l equal to 0 0.9 this is a coverage. So, this coverage is about that is 90 percent what is the meaning of coverage sequence coverage right? for example, if you have one sequence right this is a i t l v i k right yes. Now, you can see aligned only some part of the sequences for example, aligned only here in this case what is the query coverage coverage equal to 70 percent. So, this how much coverage you can accept and then you can see the S 95 what is S 95 identity you can see there is about 95 per sequence identity. So, here you can restrict right with the sequence identity plus the coverage right what is the advantage of using coverage right for example, if you have one protein 100 residues another protein is 200 residues only some part only 10 residues are aligned and 10 residues are same you do not use a query coverage they align 10 sequences and 10 sequences are same. So, what will be the identity 100 percentage, but you see the query coverage out of 100 it aligned only 10. So, coverage only 10 percent and that means all 90 are totally different right in this case they are different from each other. So, to include this information right they use the query coverage right in this program right now we discussed about two different algorithms 
what are two different programs? C D heat and the blast class. So, there is another program that is called Pisces, right? This is a protein sequence culling server to get the subsets of non redundant sequences. Here we have different options either you can use the protein sequences already available in this server mainly from the PDB, right? Or you can give your own sequence, right? For example, if you want to give your own sequence, you can give the uniprot sequences in FASTA format. If you want to compare with the existing ones, then you can use the existing PDB data, right? And you can compare and you can get any non redundant sequences. So, how they get this non redundancy? If you have the PDB sequence, they use the structure alignment and the cyblast alignment. So, what is cyblast alignment? This is a kind of multiple sequence alignment, right? There is a position, uh, right? Specific iterated blast alignment. So they have the multiple sequence alignment by putting same sequences or similar sequences at the first, right? So they have this sequence alignment as well as a structure based sequence alignment. They combine together if you have the PDB entries. If they don't have this PDB PDB entries, then for example, non PDB, then they get the sequence identity only from side blast. It's because structures are not known. So, they have these cyplast sequences, they do the homologous sequences and this will give you the values and the non redundant sequences using only the sequence information. So, this you can use this to cull any protein sequences right at it very various ranges of sequence identities. So, what is the input sequence for this Pisces server? It takes amino acid sequence in FASTA format as the input and then give the non redundant sequences. So, this is the web server. So, here you can submit your query sequences and you will get the output, right? Either by email or you can get on if there is less number of data, right? You can get it immediately. But the problem with this Pi server is it can handle only less number of sequences. There is there is some limitations about the query sequence. But in the case of CD hit on the or the blast cluster, you can give any number of sequences, it can handle huge amount of sequences. So, that is a difference between the CD kit as well as with the Pisces servers. So, this is the online tool. So, if you want to get the sequences which are already available in this server, you can get it, or if you want to create your own data set. So, for example, if you have 1000 sequences and you want to get the non redundant sequences, right? In this case, you can get this access the server, right, to create your own list. If you click on that, right, this will ask for the different options what which one you want. So, you can if you have one sequence right you can click the last one right here you can see your one file of sequences. Then if you submit then you can get uh, this next page right here you have to paste or type your faster sequence in this text box. You have the sequences you can give the text box here or you can upload file they have the upload file option right you can browse right from your computer and you can upload the file which contains amino acid sequences in which format? FASTA format because it accepts FASTA format of any uniprot sequences. Then you can also give your options. What is the maximum percentage identity you want? 25 percent or 30 percent or 40 percent or right? So, you can give the threshold as per your convenience depending upon the problem, depending upon the initial data set and your requirement you can set the threshold normally we give 25 percent as a threshold. Then they are asking about the chain length whether we need to consider all the sequences or discard some short sequence and large sequence. So, here we can give 40 or 50 right because several proteins are more than 50 residues only few exceptions right. So, in this case you can give you the minimum length. Why do you need the minimum length? This can avoid considering the peptides there are many short peptides in this case you can avoid these peptides from this non redundant data set. Then maximum chain length right that also you can specify right for your calculation purpose right. Then it takes all this information as input and if you submit right then this will give you the sequence. Here this is the complete sequence and this is the list ok this is the list for, for the IDs right ok you can see the ID here right and here we give the complete sequences and here we can give the uh, sequence IDs. So, you can use the Pisces to get the non redundant sequences, right? But the only disadvantage of Pisces is it can handle only less number of sequences. Then it use a clustering techniques, right? Fin they will finally they give you the final set of non redundant sequences. 
So, till now what did we discuss in the class today's lecture? Yeah, first we discussed about the redundancy. So, what is redundancy? Right, we can see if there are same sequences, right, if one or more same, same sequences, right, which are present in any data set. If we construct in a specific data set with the consist of 100 sequences, are there any sequences or any 2 or 3 sequences which share the common information with the high sequence identity? So, if we share high common high sequence identity, then these six, six sequences are called redundant sequences, right. Then, how to get the non redundant sequences? So, for example, if you have 2 sequences with 80 percent sequence identity and a third one with this 30 percent sequence identity. If you want to have the sequences with more than 50 percent, right, then what do you what will happen? What do you have to do? From the first two, right, it is very high. So, we can keep one and discard another one because if you have the same sequences, they should reduce a bias in the final calculations as well as for any prediction algorithms. We check two examples, like what will happen if the same sequences are present two times or three times, depending upon the features. Right, some of them are over represented and some of them are under represented. Right. So, in order to avoid the bias, we need to construct non redundant sequences. So, what are the various program we discussed to construct the non redundant sequences? CD hit, blast cluster, and the Pisces. Right. So, what is the advantage of using CD hit? It can handle large data sets, it is very fast. So, what is the disadvantage of the CD hit? Yeah, it, it can handle up to 30 to 40 percent sequence identity because it has two versions one is online and one is the standard version right. So, you can handle only up to 30 percent or 40 percent sequence identity based on the, the program you use. So, what principle it used for clustering the sequences? K means clustering right they use the K means clustering right to make these clusters right. How this K means clustering works? It consider all the sequences right and make into some desired number of clusters. So, there is k clusters right and then try to put in the sequence similar sequences within that particular cluster right and then rearrange the, the all the values again and again. So, that the minimum redundancy is maintained right within that any particular cluster this take any cluster you can see that is completely close to each other. Then they take the representatives from different clusters in this case you can get the minimum redundancy among your sequences. So, what are the various features we use? for clustering techniques we discuss two aspects right both are based on distance. this amino acid composition right. So, one is the Hamming distance and the equivalent distance. So, if you any pair of sequences you can calculate the values and make any threshold if the pairs are more than that threshold then you can discard one right. So, in the getting the non redundant sequences there are some advantages some disadvantages for example, if we have 100 sequences made into 10 clusters, first cluster has 20, second cluster has 5 and another cluster has 1. Then how to get the representative data? If it is 1 it is easy you can take pick it up, if that is 10 how to get the representative 1? Common Generally they will take randomly pick up 1 right you can get this one. This is the reason if you have to cluster again and again and you can see what will happen if you pick up this different sequences from each cluster. You can see almost they are in similar features. So, you can get similar data right even then you can do this test to confirm that your data are significant or not. So, then the second one is a blast cluster. What are the advantages of blast cluster? It can also handle large data sets and you can go with the less sequence redundancy even 20 percent 25 percent you can do and can also consider the coverage query coverage right. So, that you can use the blast cluster for clustering the sequences. The third one we discussed about prices right here it is easy to use because if you give the all the sequences online you will get the non redundant sequences right. But the only disadvantage is it can handle limited number of sequences. In this case you have to do this again and again take your sequence and get the non redundancy right and then make another set and get the non redundant sequences and come cluster together and put again right you have to run again to get the non redundant sequences. So, we discussed about the construction of non redundant data sets right 
and various features of the primary sequence right there are various uh, parameters we calculated and we used for different applications right. Now, in the next class we will discuss about the next level what is next level of protein structure secondary structures right what are different secondary structures alpha galicious, beta sheets and coil and all right. So, we will uh, discuss about what are the different secondary structures right what are the probable allowed positions of these secondary structures right in the construction of Ramachan plot right how to predict these secondary structures for many given amino acid sequence right what is the reliability of these prediction techniques and so on that we will discuss in the next following couple of classes right. Thank you for your kind attention.